Huawei MateBook X Pro is a stunning machine to look at, especially this emerald green color model that we have right here. But this machine costs over 8,000 ringgit, which makes it a really expensive laptop and you are not necessarily getting the best set of features out of it, which is why I have the MSI Prestige 14 with me today. This is a laptop that's really good. We have reviewed this before and it performs really well and it costs way lesser than the MateBook X Pro, which makes it a very interesting contender to it. So in today's video, let's compare these two laptops and find out which is the better Pro machine. Both laptops are incredibly sleek and well-built no matter how you look at them. Although the MateBook X Pro has a slimmer body than the Prestige 14, it feels heavier than the latter despite only having a mere 40 gram weight difference. The Prestige 14 features some design advantages such as a display hinge that tilts the keyboard area for a better typing experience and goes all the way down to a flat 180 degree angle for your viewing convenience. It also has better port selection than the MateBook X Pro, where you get two USB-C with Thunderbolt 3, two full-size USB 2.0, and a micro SD card slot. Both laptop displays offer good viewing angles and accurate colors. Although the MateBook X Pro has the advantage of using a touch panel with a higher resolution at 3000 by 2000 pixels, the Prestige 14's Full HD panel uses an anti-glare matte material that some users might prefer. Not forgetting to mention that videos play better on it due to the standard 16x9 aspect ratio. To be honest, I was expecting the MateBook X Pro to come with loudspeakers on par with the MacBook Pros or even at least the Surface laptops. They unfortunately sound quite similar to the Prestige 14s with a slightly louder volume. The Prestige 14 has the upper hand in terms of firepower, as the unit I have is powered by a 6-core Intel Core i7-10710U CPU supported by 16GB of DDR4 2.6MHz RAM, 512GB of storage, and has Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. The MacBook X Pro isn't too shabby either, although it is powered by a quad-core Core i7-10510U processor, 16GB of soldered LPDDR3 RAM, 1TB of storage but sadly only supports Wi-Fi AC. In real-world situations, both laptops perform well for general usage but the Prestige 14 has the advantage when it comes to startup speed and doing creative tasks due to a more powerful processor and faster RAM. One advantage that the Prestige 14 also has over the MateBook X Pro is Thunderbolt 3, where you can connect an external GPU for improved graphics and video rendering performance. So I find both laptops to be very comfortable to work with and they remain cool and silent most of the time when I'm working on productivity tasks. Both keyboards offer decent tactile, but I personally prefer the tilted keyboard of the Prestige 14. Not to forget to mention its backlight is brighter than the MateBook X Pro's. The trackpad is also wider with better tracking performance and button mechanism. The MateBook X Pro's webcam position may be good for those who care about privacy, but it's just not usable as your colors will be looking at your fingers and nostrils. The Prestige 14's webcam is located at a practical location and has an IR sensor next to it for facial recognition. You can also disable both the webcam and microphone with their respective function keys. Where the MateBook X Pro shines over the Prestige 14 is battery life. I was able to measure 11 hours of continuous usage with PCMark's Modern Office battery life test against 7 hours on the Prestige 14. It is reasonable as the MateBook X Pro uses lower power consumption components, but both laptops should last you a proper working day without the need to hunt for a wall socket. With so many advantages over the MateBook X Pro at a much lower price tag, the MSI Prestige 14 is a more attractive pro creative and productivity machine. By all means, these two are very capable laptops and serves as good alternatives to the MacBook Pro. But ultimately, you just got to ask yourself if you are willing to pay more for a Huawei badge and invest into the company's ecosystem. But personally, I see no reason not to consider the Prestige 14 if you prefer performance over form. Now, that's pretty much for today's comparison video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video.